Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Joe the Juggernaut Joyce. Joe Joyce returns to BT Sports on July 24th. He will be taking on Carlos Takam, which is 39-5-1. We know Carlos Takam has been in there with some of the best fighters. He is definitely on the level. He is definitely like the Derek Jasora-ish type fighter. And I'm glad that Joe Joyce has the opportunity to shine once again. Uh, I was worried about the other possibilities, him defending the European title or uh, Tony Yoka, which I didn't really see that happening because he's too fresh in the game to be uh, thrown in there with Joe Joyce at the time. But I'm glad Joe Joyce has continued his winning streak. And at the end of the day, Daniel Dubois might be in a better position, maybe for or because of promotion, uh, re promotional reasons. But I think that Joe Joyce has made his stamp on the heavyweight division and he has shown his dominance and his force and made his mark where he needs be. I think every fighter, okay, makes their own path. Look at Dillian White, for example. Dillian White has been fighting every hard ass, every bad ass, every top elite fighter for the longest, okay? More than the guys that he is actually trying to fight and didn't get the opportunity. Maybe Joe Joyce has to follow that same route of hard knocks when it comes to picking opponents because Carlos Takam is always ready to fight. He took the fight when Pulev dropped out of the Joshua fight, I think on a week, a two week notice, and he did a very good job with Anthony Joshua, I might add. Okay, so Carlos Takam is no pushover. It's a good fight, a good solid competitor he's up against. So this is once again, something that Joe Joyce can build on and as well as uh, be happy with the win if he gets it against Carlos Takam. You guys tell me what you think about Joe Joyce versus T Carlos Takam, July 24th. Tell, tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.